Hey fam, it's Shakai11 and I am back. Um, and today I'm going to be doing a video on my, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit, on um, my protective style series. And I believe this is number three, don't count me to it. So yeah, if you're interested in a nice, classic, pin -y type protective style, stay tuned. Um, I have my hair in a old braid out. It's big, it's fabulous, but it's hot. <laughs> so, you know, I'm gonna be pinning it up and I'll try and get a couple of styles done because you know I am 80% in weaves or wigs. Um, and I've been really trying to take them out lately and really baby my own hair. So for this particular video, what you're going to need is the hairstyle. You're going to need hairpins. I have regular bobby pins. The stick ones that you just stick in. And I have small hairpins. A rat tail comb or some type of comb just for pushing your hair in, not for combing. You won't need a comb at all for this hairstyle. And just something to separate your hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate my hair. And I'm just basically taking the crown out. And I'm just going to pin that out the way for later. Like so. And you're going to be working with these two sections right here. At this point, if you'd like, this would be the best time to add some oil to the length of your hair because this style can last if tied up properly, probably about four days, believe it or not. It depends on how tight you do it and it depends on how wild a sleeper you are. So yeah, let me show you. I'm going to start with these two sections. And you're going to take your hair like this and pull it out to the side. And you're gonna roll it in. You see how I did that? My hair is like, imagine your hand is a roller and you're just rolling your hair in your hand like so. It's like you're doing a, um, a French roll. Basically that is what we're doing. I'm trying to zoom in so you can see a little better. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna take the section here and you're just going to pull it a little bit to the back. I'm going to show you from the side view. And then this one I'll do from the back so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to take my hair, pull it towards the back, roll it like I just said, and tuck that hair in so your ends are completely protected. And then you're just going to continue to roll. And it's going to look like this, a little looser in the back. And you want it a little more puffy going towards the front. Sorry, my chair needs oil. It's like squeaking like crazy. All right, so like that. Then you're gonna take your pins and you're just gonna go out and in to secure it. Out and in, trying to move my hand out the way. going to pin it in. Like I said, the tighter you do it, the longer it will last. And I'm going down to the bottom. And then I'm going to take one and I'm going to go semi towards the top. But you're not going to go all the way to the front. So this is not pinned. This section right here is not pinned. You're going to repeat the process on the other side. I'm going to turn around so you can see it. And right now I'm just using the regular small bobby pins. You can use the regular hair pins if you'd like. So I have this section right here. Let me just grab some pins and put them on my lap. Right. Hopefully you can get a good, good view of this. You're going to take your hair like this. You're going to create that roller I was talking about. 
You're going to try and get it as close to this one as you can. So I'm tucking the bottom in. Or you can take your rat tail comb and tuck it in. If you want to just hold on, it's up to you. But there's no need. You can use your hands. And you're just going to roll in. And I'm going to take a hairpin and I'm going to go out first. Like outward and then under. So we're going to go out and under. Out and under. Out and under. Like so. So that's pretty much what we're doing. I'm going to turn around to the top. So this is how it should look. It doesn't matter if it's sloppy in the front. Then you're going to be using these. And it's, you can use the other ones as well, but it's better to use these, I think, because they're less visible. So let's turn around once more. Make sure you get me in here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze these two buttons together. And you're gonna take your pin and you're gonna go, you're securing them together. So you're going to take it, squeeze it, move your hand up, you're going to go to the left bond, to the right bond, and inward. Squeeze it, left bond, right bond, inward. Go up. And you're just basically going in, in, up. So left bun, right bun, up. And any gaps that you fill, just go in and put them in until it feels like it's not going to open up in the back. Just keep going with your pins. Okay. Essentially, the thicker your hair is, the more pins you're going to need, regardless of the length of your hair. So I'm just going to take this section out, like so. And I'm just gonna put these two in. And I'm doing the same left, right, and in. And then you're gonna take this part. And you're going to roll upward. So you're just doing the same thing you did to the back. You're going to roll it upward. And you're going to tuck everything in the middle. And I'm just pinning the hair down. And you see that opening? I'm going to squeeze left, right, in. And then you're just pinning everything inward and make it nice. And neat. 
Now, sorry I'm running out of hairpins because they fell on the floor. So essentially you can rock this down. You can go inward like so and pull it as far down as you want. And this is how it looks from the side. If you don't want anything in your face, I would suggest you just pull it up just a little bit. Take a pin and everything, remember, is in the middle. And I'm just pinning it in the middle as well. And you could just pull it down just slightly. So you have that little bouffant right there. Now this is where your edge control will come in. Whatever molding paste or whatever you would like to use. You just take it and you just slick your sides. And just lightly brush the sides. I wouldn't go all the way up because you don't want to mess up the texture that you have from your braid out. But if your hair is straight, you can do this on straight hair. Then you would do that. I'm not going to do it because I'm going to be going right into another protective style and I will be washing it later today. So here it is from the front. From the side. From the top. And, and this is it from the back. Let me make sure you can see that. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the um, Protective Style Series Volume 4. Like I said, don't hold me to it. I believe this is my third one and I'm going to take advantage of me having my own hair out, um, not in an install, not in a weave, to do a lot of styling videos for you. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.